Hello everybody, we are over here to discuss some MCQs in the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. So let's start with it. So you have been given with a pair of linear equations in two variables, you have to find the value of x plus y. Okay, so guys, this is a standard form. I mean, this is a, you can say a tricky type of question. So what you have to do, you don't have to use any specific method in this, like you cannot use uh, substitution or elimination or graphical or cross multiplication method although cross multiplication method is not in the syllabus you have to use a trick so whenever you get a question like this you see coefficient of x square coefficient of sorry coefficient of x and coefficient of y coefficient of y and coefficient of x they are interchanging over here right so whenever you get a question like this suppose this is the first equation and this is the second equation in these type of questions what you will do you have to add the equations first so we are adding equations 1 and 2, what will you get? So you see over here you will get seven fifty three, and you will get x plus y over here guys. And what you are getting over here? You are again getting 753, right? So what can you say? Can we not directly say that x plus y is equal to 1? So out of the given options, option B is correct so you don't need to solve specifically in this question but suppose it is given to solve this pair of linear equations so once you have added and the second step will give you uh, just do subtraction 1 minus 2 so if you will do something like this you will get the value of x minus y we are not doing it over here it can be anything over here then you can easily solve x plus y and x minus y right I hope it is clear to you so let us take the next question the value of k for which these lines are coincident or coincide. So see over here, you know that coincident lines means what guys? Coincident lines means infinitely many solutions, right? So the condition for infinitely many solutions is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, right? Now what is a1 by a2 over here? a1 by a2 is 5 by 10 over here it is 5 by 10. What is b1 by b2? It is 7 by 14 over here. And what is c1 by c2? Although you write in the standard form, you have to take it on this side over here, right? So it will give you minus 3 by, and if you take this thing on this side, you'll get minus of k plus 2 over here, right? So you see this will get cancelled out, and this is nothing but 1 by 2. These two has to be equal, right? So what you can do, you can take this thing and cross multiply. So what will you get guys? You'll get k plus 2 over here is equal to 6. So from here you'll get k is equal to 4. So k is equal to 4 is the answer out of the given options. I hope it is clear. So let us take the next question. You have to solve this pair of linear equations in two variables. You don't have to find both the values of x and y, you just have to find y. So whenever you get a question like this, you don't need to find both the values. So many students actually do that. Therefore, I'm trying to explain uh, this over here. The value of y is being asked. So why will you find the value of x? There is no need of finding the value of x over here. So from the first equation, what we can do over here? This is x by a minus y by b that is equal to 0. We have to find the value of y over here, right? So we can eliminate guys sorry, we can substitute x by a is equal to y by b. Can we write x is equal to a y by b over here? x is equal to a y by b. So can I put x is equal to a y by b in the second linear equation in two variables? So in place of x, we are putting a y by b over here plus b y and that is equal to a square plus b square. So what will you get guys over here if you simplify, if you take y as common and simplify, will you get a square plus b square by b and that is equal to a square plus b square, clear or not? So you see we can simply cancel it out over here. So can I say that y is equal to b over here? So only y is being asked, so do, uh, there is no need of finding the value of x. Although you can easily find the value of x, you can put y is equal to b over here. If you will put y is equal to b over here, what will you get? You'll get x is equal to a. So you can say x is equal to a and y is equal to b. 
is the solution of this pair of linear equations in two variables. I hope it is clear to you. So try doing this one. If the system of equations, this is inconsistent, then what is the value of k? Now, what do you mean by inconsistent pair of linear equations in two variables? Inconsistent means what? No solution, yes? No solution. Or you can say, geometrically, they are parallel lines, right? No solution or geometrically, they are parallel lines. So, what is the condition for parallel lines, guys? It is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2, right? Is not equal to c1 by c2 over here. Now, what is the value of a1? The coefficient of x, that is 3. What is the value of a2? The coefficient of x in the second equation, that is 5k plus 1. What is b1 over here? It is 1 because the coefficient of y is 1. b2 over here is k minus 1 not equal to c1 by c2. See, if you take it on this side, that is minus 1 upon minus 2k plus 1, right, over here. I hope it is clear to you. Now, we need to find the value of k. So, we will not take this part. Why will you take? You have to just take this part, cross multiply and find the value of k. So, cross multiply, what will you get? 3k minus 3, that is equal to 5k plus 1 over here. So, what will you get guys? You will get 2k is equal to minus 4 and you will get k is equal to minus 2. So, k is equal to minus 2 is the answer out of the given options over here. I hope it is clear. Okay, very good. So, let us do a word problem in this chapter. See, many a times word problem is also asked in MCQs. Okay. So, it can be any type of word problem, right? So, a number consists of two digits. When the number is divided by the sum of its digits, the quotient is 7. So, see, whenever you've got a two-digit number, suppose it is, I'll just take an example. Suppose 57. You can write it like this, guys. 10 into 5 plus 7, where you see this is the units place digit. 7 is the units place digit. And this is the tens place digit. 5 is the tens place digit. So, suppose you're assuming a two-digit number like this, xy. And see, this is not x into y. Don't take it to be equal to x into y. This is not the multiplication. So basically, x, y is over here, 10x plus y. This is the standard form of a two-digit number. That's how you write it, right? Two-digit number when the number is divided by sum of its digits. So it means you are taking the number 10x plus y and you are dividing by sum of its digits. That is x plus y. What are you getting over here? The quotient is 7. You are getting 7 over here. Right? This is the first condition. So, let us simplify this condition. This is 10 y, uh, 10x plus y is equal to 7x plus 7y. So, what will you get over here, guys? You'll get 3x is equal to 6y. So, you'll get x is equal to 2y. Suppose this is the first linear equation in two variables, right? Now, what about the second condition? If 27 is subtracted from the number, it means you've got this number 10x plus y you are subtracting 27 from it. What are you getting? The digits interchange their places. So, you see, it was x, y. So, now it will become y, x, right or not, if the digits interchange their places. So, the new number will be 10 y plus x. Clear? Now, let us simplify this. So, this can be written as 9 x minus 9 y is equal to 27. Divide on both sides by 9, you will get x minus y is equal to 3. Clear? So, this is the second linear equation in two variables. Now, in place of x, can we put 2y over here from the first equation? So, x is equal to 2y can be put. So, 2y minus y is equal to 3. We can say that y is equal to 3. So, you see, if y is equal to 3, then x will be what, guys? x will be equal to 2 into 3, that is 6. So, x is equal to 6, y is equal to 3. So, the number will be what, guys? It was of the form x, y. So, x is 6, y is 3. So, 63 is the answer. Out of the given options, 63 is working. And also, you can uh, verify your answer by satisfying the above conditions using these values of x and y. I hope it is clear to you. So, that's all we needed to do in MCQs in this chapter.